All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushua, Bahashem Kakodash, the honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, and being great examples to his younger brothers in peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful look out there pushing his word in truth. And this is Syria across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful that the believers and listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. All right. What I want to get into today, you know, dealing with, you know, a simple life, you know, the, you know, the, um, the pleasure, you know, the joy, you know, of a simple life, you know, because we came up in, 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 society you know westernization you know where it's all about status clout you know there's a thing you know where you go on google and look up people you know net worth you know that's a thing in this society you know it's a very vain society you know people you know are measured off their material things you know off their status after after job titles after positions you know um Status comes from your occupation, okay? What they consider high value and all these different things, you know. But there's a joy in the sweet life, you know, in America, especially in the, you know, in the, in the Western culture within itself, but mainly in America, man, okay? It's just a hustle, a bustle, you know, of always trying to outdo, you know, someone, what they call keeping up with the Joneses, you know, people are depressed. You know, based on things that they don't have, you know, instead of having a mindset of being thankful, you know, for the daily necessities, you know, people are depressed, you know, and feel some type of way, you know, because they don't have particular things. You know, you have men that make, you know, $70,000 a year feel some type of way because they don't make 100000 which that's what puts you in the category of, of a high value man in this society. You know, 100K or better or whatever. Okay? But there's a lot, you know, that could be done with 70,000. You know, we live in a society where, you know, especially with our people, you know, Jake, you know, loves to live outside their means to project some type of power, you know, to project, you know, this false reality on social media. And at the end of the day, you know, that comes with depression you know, anxiety, you know, trying to live up, you know, to this particular status, especially if you don't really have it like that, you know, and then the things that you do in this society to maintain certain statuses and lifestyles, you know, you just run, you run yourself to the ground, you know, so that's one of the beautiful things about the scriptures, it gives us wisdom concerning everything, man, you know, even the enjoyment of a simple life, you know, and I want to get this here, in the book of um, Sirach, chapter 40, verse 18, it says, To labor and to be content with what a man have is a sweet life. You know? So, this is one of the things, um, you know, especially as of late, you know, because some brothers are ambitious, man. You know, and one thing that we learn is that, you know, the Lord already has a cap <laughs> on, you know, what he's going to allow you know, each believer to have, you know, he's going to give us their portion convenient for us, man, okay, the main thing we have to, you know, do is make sure that we're responsible, you know, that we're handling our business responsibly as adults, you know, doing what needs to be done, okay, as far as our practical day-to-day -day necessities, man, okay, but ultimately, man, you know, we're not here to just ball out of control, you know, like I say, you're going to have, you know, believers is going to have more than others, that's their lot, okay, but well, we're not here to, to, to be caught up in this rat race, you know, of chasing, you know, clout, status, and money, you know, money is the defense, okay, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, making adjustment, making moves, you know, taking opportunity, okay, but the Lord doesn't want us engulfed into these things, man. You know, and, 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 and the more I mature in his faith, the more I mature as a man, you know, you you just enjoy, you know, the, the, the sweetness of a simple life, man. 
okay, with all the, without all the politics, the soap operas, and complication, because the, the higher you rise in this ladder, okay, of society, the higher you rise, the the more the you 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 be around these different people. You know, like one thing when I was at the steel plant, you know, I noticed, you know, you you amongst, you know, the workers, it's cool. You know, but you don't have all the responsibilities and, you know, the things that come with, you know, when you start moving up and the company start giving you more and more responsibilities, man. You know, to some brothers, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's for them, you know, and it was for me for a moment, you know, but one of the things I see now, you know, is just a joy, you know, a simple life without all those responsibilities and complications of, 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 of this world, you know. So reading on it says to Rock 14 and 18 it says to labor and to be content with with that a man have is a sweet life. But he that findeth a treasure is above them both. And guess what? We found the treasure of Yahweh. You know? So the treasure of Yahweh, that's even a bonus, you know, just to be able to um because you know, we always go into stoicism. You know, stoicism, you know, is a concept to where you don't live based off pleasure. Pretty much you don't live based off a of low nature. You know, fulfillment ain't based off, you know, uh, success in this world. Okay? To this world standards. You see? So, we have, you know, the... We pretty much we have a double victory because the Lord gives us a spirit to be content, you know, with, with our essentials, man, with our daily bread. Okay. As Apostle Gabar say, our daily bread and our few, you know, simple pleasures that we have, you know. And plus we found the treasure of Yahweh. You know, so we're in a good case. You know, saying all that to say this, we're in a good case, man. Okay. And it is a beautiful thing not to be in this rat race, and that's why you go here to the book of Matthew, Yahweh Shash, you know, he made a statement, you know, that lines up with that. When you go to the book of Matthew, chapter 11, okay, verse um, 28, it says, Come to me, all right, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yeah, because when we come into the truth, man, you know, there's a burden taken off of us, okay, and trying to fit into this society, okay, or trying to, you know, climb the ranks of this society. You know, some brothers have different dreams of being, you know, rappers or some type of musician or, you know, some type of major entrepreneur, you know, and we was consumed by those ambitions, man, you know, and we looked at our life as a failure when we didn't have, you know, those particular ambitions that we was chasing after, man. Okay? You know, you will be disappointed, you know, you be sad, depressed, which goes into, you know, make you overuse, you know, your vices. Okay? But as we come into this, man, and, and we understand what's to come, like I say, faith you know, it's so, it, it, it's so valuable because it just gives, give us a whole new perspective on things, you know, because we have faith in that we are joint heirs with Yahweh shot, that we are going to inherit the earth, okay, and once we really believe that, man, that desire to just go crazy, be engulfed into this world and trying to, you know, um, do a money grab and all these different things, that desire dies, man, okay, and like I said, you're going to have, you know, brothers and sisters that's in positions to make different moves. You know, everybody's in their lot. But just putting a general perspective out there, man, you know, just coming to um, be content, you know, with a simple life, man. And it's sweet, you know, to enjoy the simple things, man. <laughs> okay. The ability, you know, to go out back, you know, kick it, listen to music. You know, you got people that are trying to live and keep up, you know, with certain lifestyles to where they got to work 60, 70 hours a week. 
Okay? Only time I only have time to sleep and work. You know, and there's a very unbalanced life, man. And America, you know, is the most overworked country in the world. You know, and as I as I get older, man, I value I start to value time way more than money. You know, because over time you learn, you know, efficient ways of making money. Okay, that frees up your time. You know, just going, you know, kick it with a brother like that's that's more enjoyable, you know, than trying to chase riches, man. Okay? <laughs> that's that's an enjoyable thing. Okay? So um uh, reading on it says verse twenty nine, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is e easy and my burden is light. Yeah, because when we come into the truth, man, we don't we don't that's why we don't even um uh uh, uh be all in brothers' business what they do. You know, as a man, you know, brothers should be able to, you know, to hold their own. Every brother should be able to hold their own as a man. Okay, but we don't get in each other's business about, you know, what brothers do, and, you know, because at the end of the day, all these things don't matter, man. You know, brother handling their business as men, you know, they, they situation, you know, they sustaining their situation, man. <laughs> okay, like this ain't like you got different cliques in this world where it's all about what you do, and how much you make it. You make this much, you get to hang with these people. You make this much, you hang with these people. You got this type of job, you hang with this people. You know, you got all these different cliques. And, you know, then, like I say, the higher you get up in the society, the more cutthroat people are, the more vain people are, the more assholes people are. When you start rising up in any industry in this society, you know, it gets the same way. You know, people are more proud, narcissistic, you know. And that's why I was always a front line type, man. I always, you know, like being around just the, hey, the average working man. <laughs> you know, like, hey, that's, that's my type. You know, I know how to mingle with, you know, with men of different statuses, man. But, you know, I, 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 I chill. I really kick it, you know, with your everyday, you know, um, working man. Okay? Just that simple working man. Like, you know, cause that's who raised me, simple working man. You know, and just to see, you know, the, 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 they, they, you know, the peace that was on them, you know, but this society will run you raggedy, man, and make you feel depressed and, you know, about what you don't have, man, but we got your house shot, we got everything, you know, let's go here, because one thing about it is the scriptures teach us discipline, you know, the scriptures teach us how to be conservative. Like people, you know, that make a lot of money and still, you know, <laughs> are lacking because, you know, the more they the more they get, the more they want. You know, like it's a rare thing, especially for, you know, our people and Jake, you know, to live below their means. Like that's you know, that's that's something, you know, that you don't see Jake do, you know, to live below their means, man. You know, they just look down upon him, man, because Jake, you know, because these curses, man, Jake is deprived of power. Jake is deprived of notoriety, man. So when Jake get a little something, man, he, he Jake invests a lot into his um his appearance and, you know, his brand, which is himself. You know, <laughs> Jake invests a lot into his brand to project his brand as if. It's just some extraordinary, like, as if, as if he's some extraordinary thing, you know? And there's nothing wrong with, you know, dressing nice, you know? You know, I like to coordinate, <laughs> okay? Because, it, you know, uh, 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 I don't spend a lot of money doing it, <laughs> you know? But, um, but um, you know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, because appearances, you know, appearances, you like, we're not saying neglect. You know, we say simple like that doesn't mean you stop grooming yourself and stop washing your clothes. No, man. Okay? That, that's not what it, what it's speaking of, man. Brothers got their own unique style and, you know, how they move. Okay? Because we are nobility, man. <laughs> okay? So, you know, we know how to, you know, jazz it up. You see? 
But the thing is, you know, we don't want to get engulfed and become vain in anything. Okay? This is, um, Sirach 11 and 11 says, There is one that laboreth and taketh pains and maketh haste, haste, and there's so much more than behind. So you have a lot of people that, you know, run themselves raggedy, but then they trying to keep up. Okay? You got men, you know, and women. They run themselves raggedy, work all these hours and work these different jobs and always scheming, you know, and they still are in the, are, are in the want, okay, and that's a terrible way to live, okay, a lot of people live for Instagram, a lot of people live for TikTok and Facebook, like they live for it, man. Okay, they're motivated by those. They they they're they're inspired by those things and it's running them raggedy, man. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Let's get this in. Um, so like I say, the Lord Lord throw blessings, man. That's another thing. Like, you know, the Lord will throw blessings and have you and have you know he he be having us in good positions, man. <laughs> you know, like the Lord sometimes he just splash the pot, throw you something, get you know throw opportunity away, man. Okay. But then even with that, there's a scripture for that. This is Psalm 62 and 11. It said, the most I have spoken once. Um, is it? It might be 64. So like, no, it says, it's, um, yeah, it's um, Psalm 62 and 10. It said, trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Okay, so we read this in the NLT, Psalm 62 and 10, it says, Don't make your livelihood by extortion or put your hope in stealing. And if your wealth increases, don't make it the center of your life. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with coming up, you know, making moves and bettering your situation. Okay. You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, man. Networking and doing your thing. Because we, like we Israelites, man. Okay? We know how to move. We know how to uh, create revenue. We know how to do things, man. But we can't make that the center of our life, man. And get engulfed in it, man. You know? Because it, nothing comes of that. But when you go here, let me see. That's around 30... Mm. Let's see. It's just a rock. Yeah, this is a rock thirty one and one. It says watching for riches consuming the flesh and the care they will drive it away sleep. Okay? So watching all right, for riches consuming the flesh, man. Like, it's like, you know, like you're killing yourself, literally, man. Breaking yourself down. You can break yourself down. <laughs> you know, losing sleep, you know. And this world will have you like that, man. Especially, like I say, if you're operating in that, in that low nature, you're trying to, as a man, you're trying to impress women. Okay, you're trying to get to this certain status so you can deal with certain type of women. Okay, which, hey, that always goes bad. when If you got to kill yourself for a woman, you know, you're going to have to triple that, you know, to try to keep that woman interested, man. Okay, and another thing, you know, as we learn, as I, as, you know, as I'm learning as a man, I'm going to take care of what take care of me, you know. Like, why would I, you know, run myself raggedy for something that don't care about me? You know, but just because they look a certain way. That's come from operate in the low nature. You know, but now, nah, man, my mindset now, and I'm going to take care of what take care of me. And the truth take care of me, man. You know, my little day-to-day, -day, you know, gigs I got, man, they take care of me. You know, so I take care of it. You know, this truth is taking care of me. So this is my top priority. I take care of this. And the Lord, you know, he take care of me, man. 
you know, even my family, man, you know, I, I, I take care of my family, my family take care of me, you know, so that's the mindset that I'm moving with now, like, I'm gonna take care of what take care of me, man, what? I don't have no time, resources, or energy for anything that doesn't take care of me, <laughs> you know, and, and that's just how I've been moving, you know, because the scriptures tell you, man, that's why um, you go here to Sirach 40, okay, and on um, 26, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 40, verse 26, it says, riches and strength lift up the heart, but the fear of the Lord is above them both. There is no want in them that fear the Lord, and it needed not to seek help, okay? So one thing I've learned in this truth, man, is if I take care of the Lord's business, everything else start falling in line. Okay, you might have a few bumps in the road, but even then, you know, the Lord is still right there in the midst of all of it, man. You might have some setbacks. Guess what? The Lord is right there in the midst of all of it, man. Okay, so the number one thing that we should be taking care of is this ministry, man. Whatever portion, whatever lot we got, you know, the more I take care of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the more he takes care of me on a daily basis, man. And then he, it, it, and we find ourselves in position where we ain't want for nothing, man. Okay? And I say, after, you know, our daily necessities, man, and the Lord give us our little simple pleasures, man. He give us, you know, the perks of our little simple pleasures. Everything else is a bonus, man. Like, I, 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 be, feeling, I be feeling rich, man. <laughs> you know, I be feeling wealthy. You know, got this truth, got the brotherhood, you know. Um, got my daily necessities, man, you know, my family situation, cool, my immediate family, okay, like, I, I'm, I'm good, I don't know, I'm not tripping about a certain car I don't got, okay, or it ain't a certain woman on Instagram that I'm, you know, uh, uh, uh on the journey for, man, okay, <laughs> nah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm content, as the scriptures say. Okay. Let's go here. Let's get on. So rock. Um, 26. And 4. Alright. It says. Whether a man be rich. Or poor. If he have a good heart toward the Lord. He shall at all times rejoice. With a cheerful countenance man. You know. So. Man. As long as. You know. The Lord shows that he's dealing with. You know, the Lord, the Lord gives us the ability to edify, man, and, you know, brothers that teach. You know, he give us, an, you know, the opportunity to be pleasing unto him, man. And the Lord showed that he dealing. You know, man, we can have a cheerful countenance, man. The bank account's going to go up and down. Okay? It ain't, ain't no relationships guaranteed, man. But the Lord favor, you know, and just... Because you can tell when the Lord is showing appreciation. Just as you can tell when the Lord is, uh, you know, he's not pleased with the thing. And you can tell when he's showing, you know, favor too. You know, and there's way above, you know, status in this world, or clout in this world. Because this is working towards something eternal, man. The Lord finna, the scriptures say, seeing that all these things should be dissolved. What type of, what, what manner of person should we be? You know, Lord, will I go into another lesson? Going into it's all for nothing. Everything that these people are doing is all for nothing, man. You know, and it's getting more wicked. It's getting more defiled. Everything is of a lesser value. Okay, everything has been ran to the ground. Okay, and the Lord got us in the light where we can see these things, man. Okay, so let's go here. All right, into um. Ecclesiastes, yeah, and we'll close it here. All right, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5. All right, in verse 12, it says, The sleep, all right, the sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eat little or much, but the abundance of the rich would not suffer him to sleep, man. You know, so, um, uh, it says, let me read it again. 
Let me read it again. Yes. Ecclesiastes 5 and 12 said, The sleep of a laboring man is sweet. You know? And yeah, man. And that's another thing. Like when, you know, you're not over here getting over on people. When you're not out here scamming and you're not doing that get rich or die spirit, man. You know? You ain't out here robbing, you know, doing crime. You know, this because Jake loves to try to make crime a career. You know? Beefing with these niggas over here, man. That's a very wearisome lifestyle, man. You know? You got to worry about if the feds in town. You got to, you know, you got to, you know. You beefing with these niggas, man. And that's a very, very wearisome lifestyle, man. Okay? It's extremely wearisome, man. You know? And that's why, you know, when I just started, when I had, you know, started working you know, like a real job and getting income, was able to take care of myself and didn't have to deal with niggas, man. And there was a there, there was a whole new realm of peace, man. A whole new realm of peace. Okay? Well, you got these jakes that got all this shit going on, man, and in and out of prison and, 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 and you know, in and out of beast with niggas and, you know, then did all, you know, then got over on all these people, man. And it's like, nah, man. You know, that's terrible. That's a terrible way to live, man. Okay? Ecclesiastes 5 and 12. I'm reading the NLT. It says, people who work hard sleep well, whether they eat little or rich. But the rich seldom get a good night's sleep. Yeah, man. And whether you are rich and you always scheming and plotting something else and you're worried about you know in this society especially being rich in this society you're worried about being sued you know you deal with a woman you hope you ain't got her pregnant because she you know so much scheming and plotting you know because when you're rich in this society you're a target you're a come up <laughs> you know you're a come up man okay so you know the lord you know he got us in a good place, man. He gave he giving us food convenient for us, man. You know, not you know, we're not, you know, just eating out of garbage cans. Okay? And we're not, you know, in the upper stratosphere of this society. The Lord got us each believer where he wants them to be. You know, and if it's and if it's a way to make moves, hey the Lord, hey, and the Lord with it, you know, hey, make a move, make a money move if the Lord with it. Hey, you know. At the end of the day, we all know as men, you know, as adults, you know, that we have to be responsible with our day-to-day, -day, man. But they're just an enjoyment, you know, of a um, being content, man. You know, it's a real joy. It's being, you know, it comes with being content, you know. So that's the point, you know, Lord will, you brothers, all right. And you sister will edify till next time I say Shalom. Call me Shalom. Bye, 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 soon.